Okay, I'm getting ready to do a video where I have this giant log and I'm going to need to do outboard turning. If you don't know what outboard turning is, that's where you are going to turn. I think they're calling this the board, but out of the board. Some lays you can turn by mounting on the backside of the headstock and that way you can have more space. Mine, I'm going to show you what you do with the Powermatic how I go about getting to outboard turning. I don't think I've actually shown that in detail. You have to remove this tail stock or I have a thing called a swing away. So I slide this out to the end and then lock it down. And then there's a little threaded knob here. This isn't cheap, but this carrying this head stock or this tail stock is very heavy. So I moved that for about a year and I said, I'm gonna do, do away with that. Then you just let that, it's got a spring on it. Let that kind of swing away out of the way. Now I have this all free. I'm going to take this off. First, before I do that, there's a little stopper plug here. You could put it here. You take that off. You slide this out. And then I'm going to put this down here. Slide it on. You're going to be moving this tool rest while you're turning. And if you don't put the knob here, that can come off. So I go ahead and recommend putting the knob there. I dropped it. Put this little stopper block there. Screw that in. You can also put one up here. I don't have one. I think it might be on the back side here. You can put one here to prevent your headstock from coming off. Um, I would just be very careful that I'll show you that. So this now needs an extension. So you have to buy this extension. That goes in there. You lock that down and now your tool rest can fit in there. And this gives you the difference here that we gained. The headstock has a lock right here. So you unlock that. And then we have to pull this forward. And I do this very carefully. Don't do this real fast because like I said, I don't have a plug there. There is a plug back here. Probably would be a safe practice to go ahead and take this out and put this in just to make sure that you wouldn't do the, a really dumb thing and, and push your headstock off. That would be bad. Uh, you would not be able to control it. Very heavy. This thing weighs so much. So now you can slide this forward. I'd still be careful. That right there should be good, actually. I think mean, that's plenty. All you really need to do is make sure you're clearing out here with your face plate and where your bowl is going to be. I have, and then you got to lock this back down. So I'm going to lock that back down. Make sure that don't move. <clears throat> so now I can put my face plate on. I've got it over here. I'm going to do a separate video on the review of this face plate, but this will screw on. I've got a big bowl blank. I've got to make sure it's not going to hit down here. Um, hopefully it doesn't. That gives me a pretty good distance. Now I can turn really big bowls, something that big I can turn on this outboard turning. We can come out here that far. So that's about your limit. So you double, about double your, your size limit on this. So hopefully that's just a quick video to show you how it's done on a Powermatic lathe, how to do outboard turning. And of course you've seen me turn several things doing this method, but that's how I get there. Thanks a lot.